skin is the biggest organ in the body and as such has a huge job to play. It's used in maintaining an optimal body temperature, protecting our skin from infection and our internal organs and has many other functions, including our social perception of a person. As a result, it shouldn't be a surprise that it's vital to keep our skin healthy. Today, we are going to talk about two extremely common skin conditions, eczema and psoriasis. Eczema is an increasingly common condition affecting one in five children and one in 12 adults in the UK. It is becoming increasingly common and in the past 30 years it has increased two to threefold. There are many different types of eczema but the most common is atopic eczema. Our skin needs its own natural oils to keep it supple and to help prevent infection. In people who suffer from eczema, for reasons which are unclear, these natural oils are lacking. This results in the skin becoming dry, cracked, sore and very itchy. Certain products can exacerbate the condition and these include soaps and exposure to certain detergents. Atopic eczema is a hereditary condition. Um, sufferers can also be susceptible to allergies to pet hair, to pollen and to dust. Temperature extremes can also make the condition worse. So going from a cold, the cold extremes of winter into a warm centrally heated home can cause a flare up. Eczema can occur anywhere on the body although most commonly it's found in the creases such as the inside of the elbows and the back of the knees. For people who suffer from eczema, this is not just a skin condition. Often the itch can cause sleepless nights which can affect the whole family. Eczema can also cause a lack of self-esteem, particularly in teenagers and young adults as they may not be able to cover their skin. The best course of action to treat eczema is to work with your nurse, GP or dermatology specialist to develop a management routine for you. They will work out what's best for your skin and the triggers you should avoid in managing your eczema. The routine does vary from person to person. For instance, if you're prone to infection, an antibiotic cream may be recommended or if you're prone to severe eczema or very red inflamed skin, a steroid ointment or cream may be recommended for use. However, one thing you can be sure of that any routine you have will include an emollient. An emollient is a clinical term for any cream, lotion or ointment applied to the skin. Complete emollient therapy means that you will use an emollient to moisturise, cleanse and bathe, ensuring that your skin retains moisture all day. Emollient therapy is also recommended by the National Institute for Health and Clinical Excellence as the first line treatment in eczema. This means that emollient therapy should form the basis of any management pla plan in treating eczema. The emollient category is made up of a range of products from lotions which are the lightest through to ointments which are greasier in consistency. NICE guidelines advise the greasier the emollient, the better the effect, as this will help the skin to retain moisture. The issue with greasier products is they may make your skin look greasy. Depending on the condition, you might want to use an ointment at night or on problem areas. The middle ground is to use a cream where you will still retain a good level of moisture, however your skin won't look too greasy. There are a number of companies that produce emollients and with a number of different brands. The most important thing is that you as the sufferer of eczema or psoriasis commit to using the cream daily and like the cream you're using. A brand like Epiderm is available as a cream or in an ointment, manufactured with clinically proven ingredients that help soften and maintain the moisture within the skin. Both products have few ingredients and no perfumes or colourings. This is because people that suffer from eczema or psoriasis may have more sensitive skin and therefore the fewer the ingredients, the better. In the UK, you can get a prescription via your GP or nurse or you can visit your chemist and buy over the counter or alternatively buy online. 
Psoriasis is a common condition affecting around 125 million people across the world. It can range in appearance from mild to very severe. Psoriasis is a speeding up of the usual replacement process of the skin. Normally, skin cells replace themselves every 21 to 28 days. However, for people with psoriasis, this process is greatly accelerated and skin cells can replace themselves every two to six days. Patches of psoriasis are also known as plaques. These are raised red patches of skin which are covered in a silvery scale. The silvery white scales are the build-up of skin cells waiting to be shed. The redness is due to an increase in the number of blood vessels required to support this cell production. The plaques can appear in a variety of shapes and sizes ranging from a few millimetres to several centimetres in diameter. Psoriasis can occur at any point in life affecting children, teenagers and adults. It's important to know that psoriasis can't be passed from one person to another nor can it be transferred from one area of the body to another. Psoriasis is a chronic condition which can't be cured but it can be managed. The first thing to do if you or your child develop psoriasis is seek medical advice. Depending on whether the condition is mild, moderate or severe, the doctor may prescribe a topical treatment. This means a treatment applied to the skin. They will also advise you to keep the skin well moisturised and to avoid soaps and other irritants which may dry the skin. Many people suffer from skin problems. In fact, one in ten of us at some point in our life will suffer some skin condition. Therefore, we need good advice, the right products and the answers to our questions to help us maintain a healthy skin. If you suffer from eczema, psoriasis or any other dry skin condition, visit TalkingSkin.com where you'll find tips and hints on how to look after your skin.